Stepping that ski so hard. Thank you. Okay? You. Just great, thanks. Ah, oh, splendid. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! I gotta get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Uh, uh. Heart attack? What's wrong with him? It? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Uh, there's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. <laughs> you know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Yeah, I will get him. Get him his pills. So that was Glenn, right? He never said. He never said his name. That's food. Money. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Yeah, why why wasn't Lee telling that this is his parents' drugstore? Of course he knows it's through the office. Wait, what is that? Is that something? No. More food. So that's the office. The pills are in there. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Yeah, sorry about that. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. 
got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Mm, I guess so. I hope so. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Mm. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. The owners, they were, uh... We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Hmm. So that's Lee's parents, then. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him now. Alright. Do we need food? No? It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. <laughs> There's one more, at least. Anything else to eat? Drink? We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hun. Huh. It's all melted now. You need one? It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. You are welcome. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. Mm. How's she doing? Well, her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. <laughs> I'm trying. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh, ah, finally an option to actually say it aloud. I thought so. I wasn't they sure. They own this place. They uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're... Uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but... Yeah. They're dead. Are you guys alright? Oh, we're just fine, considering. 
How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, there's a you fold. got a second? Sure. There's a photo on the wall. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? I tried. I tried. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> Thank you very much. Try to let it go. I tried. I do like the time restricted choices, but uh We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I don't know what uh well, I don't even want to think about it what I would have done if I actually knew that was a choice. I did what I did. I don't remember them very well. Is that the lead there on that photo? Nothing special there. Alright, let's see what else we have here. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things no, out I'm there? I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> no. Yeah, those are Lee's parents, aren't they? Yes, they are. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Hang out? Uh... Sure. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. No. Nope. Agreed. I'm gonna check Jesus. if this is a good idea. Just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. No. I think so too. Shit. We better keep it down out of here. Yes, we do. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Hmm. It's a combination lock. I can tell. I don't want to open it. Why is there a brick there? I can't reach that brick. Right. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? <sighs> he could be a drugstore employee. Brother. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. 
Why can't you just look at the uniform, though? He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. If we can somehow prove... Just tell him he's your brother. Oh, well, was. Yeah. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Alright. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Right, so I need to find... I need to find something to go to Vin's dog. That uh, Lee's brother there. Oh, it actually says, <laughs> says there in the bottom left. Oh, come on, Lee. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Uh... I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. <laughs> right. I guess we will uh, go back in. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. I assume I can't. Can't just open this. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Fine. Let's head back inside. Okay. I can I guess Lee's um Lee's trying to hide his past or something. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. <sighs> Nothing. Mm -hmm. Batteries, maybe? There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Batteries? You know? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter. Especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. I guess that explains why you don't know what batteries look like. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> oh, we are all geeks here, so it's all good. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll be looking for them. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Excellent. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Mm -hmm. I better get back to it. 
Yep. All right, so the, so the so the geek saves the day. Is that a battery? I saw the batteries, didn't I? I saw one there. So that's one. Hey there. Hi. So it is Glenn. They... I wasn't 100% sure because of the graphic style, but they never said his name. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Well, how about this, uh... This energy bar. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. What are you talking about, well, sit tight. Okay. I like her, though. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, how about this? It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. So that was one battery there. Can't get the milk. Anything in here? Is that one? Aha. Ha ha ha. That should do it. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. So I will go look for those <laughs> look for those pills. I sure wasn't taking sure wasn't hurrying to it. where they dragged the corpses. There's a photo over there. There's Lee. Find anything? Mm. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Uh -huh. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? I guess I didn't. I really tried. No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. 
I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess, uh... I guess Lee wants... Don't want people to know that he murdered a man because the man was sleeping with his, with his wife. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. How can you tell from that pool of blood that one of them was hurt? I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Yeah, and Lee said about, uh, I guess, the photo with... Uh, photo with Lee's brother in it will, uh, will prove to Doc that uh, corpse outside has the key. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. No, I didn't. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Maybe the first aid kids will get the job done. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. I 
I uh, I really like at least so far I, I really like how how they've done this uh, relationship with uh, with Clementine and Leeds. Uh. Lee? Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Lee. I asked you a question. Yes, you did. Uh, I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? All right, let's see about this finger. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Yeah, let's. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Mm -hmm. And it's locked, right? Uh, the keys are on that zombie out in the street. Yeah, who is your brother? Remote? Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. I already saw it. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Mm -hmm. There's probably nothing on there, right? Gatsby. That's what I figured. <laughs> right. And there's nothing there. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay, so with the photo, we can convince Doc that Lee's brother worked here. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, now, now I did it myself. <laughs> I was wondering why, why Lee isn't, uh, why Lee's keeping his uh, past hidden. He doesn't tell, uh, doesn't want people to know that, uh, He's a murderer, and then, uh, well, of course I can't tell Clementine about it. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. 